I'm um, Nahid Ashby. I am a resident in Silchester um, Estate and um, I chair the resident association here. Some things have changed, but um, we all know that change takes a long time. So we have to be a little bit um, patient. There's been some change that I know that has happened in this borough with the housing management, but uh, there needs to be a lot more to come. So we'll have to just, don't, don't hold your breath for it, but it will, I think it will happen. There's a problem, there's a fundamental problem with social housing, and it's twofold. One, there's not enough of it, so they need to build a whole lot more, hundreds of thousands of more, if there is a will to address the housing crisis and eliminate homelessness. And two is the um, stigma that's been attached to it in the last, from the last 10 years up to now. The stigma is a little bit more difficult to um, remove, but the two, these two things, they are interlinked. So if they provide decent housing rather than just adequate, which is these days in the 21st century is quite possible. You can do that with modular buildings. You can provide um, quick um, construction and 21st century construction, and which is not just adequate, it's not just enough, it's more than enough. It's proper housing. And um, not only will you get rid of the housing crisis, it will remove the stigma because more people will be wanting to live in the social housing and because the housing is decent and perfect they'll be happy to do that and the media of course has a role to play in this they have to stop banging on about getting on the property ladder and home ownership and bringing out all these um, questionable schemes like shared ownership and all of that uh, people not everybody wants to own a house so people need to be happy where they live. And when there's a proper, decent social housing provided and enough of it, and enough people live in those houses, and they feel proud of where they live, the stigma would be removed easily. I think it was about two or three years campaign. Uh, it started before I was um, part of this uh, resident association. I was at that time they were doing this mini regeneration of the Silchester garages and I was fighting three or four fronts on my own with the, uh, the uh, all of the parties involved in there and then when they started almost it was like a rampage which wasn't um, just for Silchester I know that it had happened in other places as well but, I mean, look at this place. They wanted to demolish this. We called it nuclear demolition, nuclear option. Demolish all of this and build tiny little, pokey little homes. Not most, most of it was not even fit for people to live in. It was basically, they were trying to turn this into a money-making machine. And it wasn't on. And thankfully, it was, uh, I think... It, I say thankfully, but it's regrettable that Grenfell happened because that put a stop to it. I'm just hoping that um, that tragedy at least, okay, it's happened. We are where we are, but I'm hoping that um, it, it would lead to something good. I'm hoping something good will come out of it. And I'm sure it will because I think we deserve it and it's going to happen. It makes me sad because even with the inquiry and all the um, noise that was made about it, we're still nowhere. We're still nowhere. Nobody's been um, held accountable. I believe that the inquiry started the wrong way. It started back to front. It should have started somewhere else. <laughs> we all know where it should have started. but. I think people who were um, responsible need to um, be held accountable and that way at least justice is done and 
that might, you know, makes people a little bit happier. But you still can't change what hath happened. All those lives last for nothing.